Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everyone on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Jeskai Storm Conduit. Okay, so this is a Jeskai control deck that is looking to win the game with Ral Storm Conduit. A card that I just haven't really played too much. Uh, Blue-red colors aren't necessarily the ones that I gravitate towards, but I feel like people aren't... Like, I'm surprised that I don't play against very like more of this card. And I, th I think this card is just a solid card. And so I wanted to give this a try. So basically, when I was thinking about making this deck, it actually all started with Deafening Clarion. Whenever we're playing like Deafening Clarion in the Niv Mizzet Reborn deck, it was just really impressive. There's a lot of mana creatures around these days with like the Bant Midrange deck and small creatures with like Esper Hero and, and things like that. Like and uh, and of course like the real aggro decks. Basically, I wanted to play a Deafening Clarion deck, and so I was just kind of thinking, what what could we play Deafening Clarion in? And then you know they kind of gravitated towards blue because blue is the best color in standard. So if we're playing Jeskai, like what are we really doing there? And then I was like, you know what? I haven't seen too much. I haven't seen Ral get played too much. So let's see how we can do with it. Like we've seen other Jeskai like Planeswalker decks with like a whole bunch of Sarkins and everything. And those are good. And Sarkin is awesome. Sarkin is just really powerful, but we know that. So we, I want to try just kind of going through a different um, route here. So we're looking to play a lot of like, so I'm going with uh, Rao with the expansion combo. So if you don't know about this combo, I'm surprised there's nobody that knows about the combo, but basically if you just have a Rao in play, <clears throat> and you have any spell on the stack, could be like an opt, a shock, could be your opponent casting any spell, have any spell that costs, any instant or sorcery that costs four CMC or less where you can cast expansion and copy it. And then if you have two expansions, if you use the first one to copy the original spell and then still with the expansion on the stack, use your second expansion to copy expansion and then continue to copy expansion over and over again. You can keep on just doing that. You can just keep on copying the copy and, and so on. And you just do that infinitely. And each time you do that, it deals one damage to target opponent or planeswalker. I haven't pulled that off here on Arena and I haven't done it. I don't know if there's anything weird with like the trigger stacking of like how to exactly do it. Hopefully we don't mess it up if, if it comes up. But besides that, uh, you don't you don't only need that combo to win. Um, you can... Because, yeah, the only time like my opponents like tried to do the expansion combo they messed it up online and so i wonder if there's like something weird okay you need to have full, full control on okay uh well we'll put on that's a good good call we'll put on full control if we get there because the only time i've ever seen like my opponent try to do it one time they messed up with it so i i feel like it's not easy to pull off anyway um even just having this and just doing the minus two to copy the instance and sorceries Basically, you can do that with just a big explosion. And that's how I've kind of... I've played just like two matches with this deck. Uh, just kind of trying it out, making sure it works and everything here before our league. And that's how I was winning games, was just playing Rao minus two, cast explosion, and just double explosion and deal them, you know, like eight twice. And then you also get like the, the two triggers with this, for example. Uh, no, no Sahili over here. I don't... I don't I feel like you need a lot more spells for Sahili than what I have. Um, I am a, kind of a Planeswalker heavy deck. Um, so yeah, no no Sahili. Uh, the Blink of an Eye is something that I'm putting in just for a little bit more interaction. And I think Blink of an Eye is pretty good with Ral, like with the minus two. If you get to copy Blink of an Eye for four mana, you get to bounce two permanents, draw two cards. That's pretty good. You know, we know like we have Chemister's Insight, which is like, draw two cards this is like bounce two permanents draw two cards with the row so that's that's definitely reasonable and then of course it has other utility as well um but yeah there we go yeah i know i know uh the walkers still count for her passive i guess what i mean when i said when i said that with sahili what i mean is like when you play like the a planeswalker you know you're casting three mana for like your your thing you get on the battlefield it's not like you don't i don't have like a lot of velocity where i'm casting you, you know like i mean i have opt but it, besides that like i'm not casting like charter courses and discoveries and like just kind of filtering through and finding something else to cast and casting that and casting that and, and casting a bunch of spells that's that's what i'm talking about so sorry about that uh yeah red finale is kind of cool um you know, I don't have very many things to hit with Red Finale. I have, like, two Lava Coils total for the Sorcery. 
and and then basically just opt in shock. The or I guess I have the deafening clarions that are a sorcery also. But one thing that I don't really like about Red Finale these days is there are a lot of Teferi time wasters just everywhere, and this card completely shuts down uh, Red Finale, and that's a bummer. Um, but that's our deck. We got a lot of counter magic in the sideboard. I haven't really tried out Narset's Reversal too much, so I'm kind of interested to play this card and to see that one. I don't really love this Justice Strike. I want to just an early cheap removal spell. I don't know. Uh, the fact that this doesn't kill like Oketra is kind of annoying. And we got some sweepers for like big creature decks. Got that fourth Clarion in there. No, that's our deck. Let's let's give it a try. Let's see if it works. Where's Jeskai Storm Conduit? Yeah, Karn's Temporal Sundering is just is really cool with all these things if you get to cast it. Um, the hard part is casting Temporal Sundering because it does cost six mana and you have to it requires you to have your planeswalker on the battlefield and everything. But yeah, there's a lot of cool cards that a lot of sorry, a lot of cards that it's has cool interactions with. Like Ral, uh, Kefnet. All right, so we're both at six. I'll keep the opt. Opt allows me just to, to shock in here and have, I don't have to feel bad of like shocking in for shock kind of thing. Because I, I wouldn't do that at all. This looks like maybe a Nexus deck. I kind of felt like our opponent had like a growth spiral over there. Which I guess I don't know if that means it's Nexus or not, but... I like these two cards against a Nexus deck. Start with Narset. One's gonna get countered. I'd rather it be the Narset. And, are bound by threads of time. and I'm not activating the Narset. Um, should I activate Narset now? Because I, I didn't want to make it easy for them to kill Narset. Like a lightning strike or whatever. Hey, Colonel Fault. Alright, well, maybe I should have led with... Maybe I should have led with Teferi instead of Narset. I wanted to play the worst one against a counterspell. But they just... Didn't counter that and then had to counter for the next one. All right, that worked. And I don't have to worry about like bouncing the crazes and then, oh man, they just get to draw another card because remember they can't draw a card because of the Narset. Um, yeah, I'll just keep that, kill the, kill the crazes. 
this might be a bad idea. I'm gonna play it safe. I know my response not so get rid of that. Because the like if they you know like on their turn if they have a shock and shock to fairy, then I don't want them to be able to go crazy. I'm just gonna play it safe here. See, look how good Ral Storm Conduit was that game. It was so good. All right, we'll get the vetoes, the extra Narcent, the reversal. That could be pretty cool. Like, have them Chemistry's Insight and I draw cards. I guess I want that thing. This is 62. I think I still want like these shocks and everything. <laughs> Rallin' pals. <laughs> uh, maybe I don't need Sarkin. Sarkin's kind of like a win after I've already won kind of thing. Right? Isn't it? Like the games I'm losing, Sarkin's not going to help. Yeah. Like Rallin' Pals. That's a cool duck name. Jeskai Rallin' Pals. Alright, what's the last card here? Um, is it the third big Teferi? Is it the... It's not expansion. It could be the fourth shock. Yeah, reversals could stop Doan's veto. Cut Blink? Don't think it'd be useful to like blink a wilderness reclamation. Maybe not. So, blink's like better whenever we have like the Dovin's vetoes also. Like how, you know, like the whatever resolves, we blink it and then can counter it. But oh yeah, I can reversal their nexus. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Alright, I want to find something to do on turn two. We got to get turn three, four, and five. For two mana card. That's a two mana card. I'll take it. That's also a two mana card. I'll take that one too. Gonna counter that. Grass Spiral is great. I've had a lot of times like where I don't counter Grow Spirals and then they, then they just get way ahead of mana and then they just get to like play their spells with counter magic like way before I can, and I lose. That extra land drop is is pretty big. But now we're getting to the mid game, like where I'm going to be able to start double spelling. Hmm. Stupid frilled mystic. I guess I'll give it a try. Stupid Frill Mystic. So we'll tuck that with the fairy. Trust 
Trust me. Let's take it back. Do I have more things for Niv in my sideboard that I could have in the deck? Only time will tell. I am really into current affairs. Get it? Because current, uh, electricity, uh, never mind. And this kills Nev. Yeah, I mean, it kills Nev. They get to draw some cards, but oh well. There's a storm coming your way. Oh, this doesn't kill Niv. I guess I should read Ral. I've only just done Ral against... Huh. Okay, well. <laughs> only player or Planeswalker. I've only done that to players or Planeswalkers before. So maybe I should be playing a Cleansing Nova? I guess I should have a Cleansing Nova in here. <laughs> oh, Justice Strike. Yeah, Justice Strike. I missed that one. Yeah, y'all right. Just a strike. Nova can take out multiple things. Hopefully that helps. Yeah, if I would have double Ral minus, it would have worked. Yeah, if I would have just Ral minus, played the other Ral minus that, then yeah, that, that would have worked. This is an odd hand. No, he land. Good. Dang, no land drop. Where are my lands at? I know my responsibility. Land. Ugh. Tilt. Hooray. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. All right, so they have no lands over there. Don't worry, I got this. All oh, right, they can't even cast instant speed stuff. Why am I playing around Frold Mystic? 
Uh, yeah. I've got time. Um... Right, no time for a break. <laughs> Why can't today be some battle day? All right, no lands. That card's pretty cool. No more games. Here. We okay. Go. I think we'll get a Narset in play. Yeah. Just gonna go ahead and tuck this. You need to slow down. Get Narset in play. The focus put thoughtfulness before action. We'll just take this. Go ahead and cast an opt. Basically looking for Rao right now. Well, that doesn't do anything. Okay. Planeswalkers to the rescue. Rowl and Pals. Lil Teferi is just completely busted. Making opponents play at sorcery speed. It's, it's so unreal good. It is so, so good. You know, at least we don't have two full years. It's only a year and a half with this card. Because it came out halfway through the year. So it's only, like, till the end of next year. It's in, like, six, 16-ish months. Maybe 17 months. That's two years of my life. I was kind of looking for Ascanta there. Kind of keep the shock till we have like Ral in play, or I don't know. Should I shock now? I'll protect you. Play Ral next turn. Nah, nah. I'm gonna play Ral. Ral's cool. Every problem has a solution. Let's start by. I'm really into current affairs. Get it? Because current electricity. Yeah, Lil Teferi has saved us from Nexus. That is true. Alright, well that was worst case scenario. Hmm. 
Game's not over yet. If you wish to surrender, now. meditate and prepare. This experiment has shocking repercussions. <clears throat> uh, did I take you up already? It's not yet. That's more like it. It's kind of unfortunate the Narset saw four spells there that were all like pretty good, because then the other ones are at the bottom of the library. It's only a matter of time. Hone your prowess. All right, so Clarion, maybe Teferi, or Cleansing Nova, Blast, doesn't get rid of Oketra. Oketra is like the biggest thing that to be worried about here. Yeah, Matt, looks like, yeah, you have the tie there. Did you just sub right now? No notification came up. Check like the beginning, or like you may need to refresh the stream and then check like the top of the chat, at the top of the the chat thing there. Maybe it says something about sending a notification. Well, thank you so much, Matt. I'll mark you down here as a sub then for the day. Five out of ten. So, what am I sideboarding out? Do I take out Narset in this matchup? I mean, Narset did pretty good, but... Yeah, I guess we take out Narset. I guess. Yeah, they don't seem to... Yeah, they probably don't have like a whole lot of draw extra things. Maybe a four, maybe a storm conduit. Blink of an eye. They're going to six. Let's give it a try. Okay, now no more lands. That land's good enough. Now no more lands. That land's good enough. Gotta charge up the draw. Bzz, 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 bzz. Need a fire draw here. You show remorse. Trust me, I have a plan. Alright, not quite. Trust me. You'll thank me later. No, I am not making this up as I go. Bzz, 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 bzz. Burn it up. 
We got a fire draw there. We got an explosion. Here goes nothing. Let's try this. Ugh, gross. To beat mono red aggro for the Simic deck. Um, Bio Essence Hydra. If you play a good amount of Planeswalkers, Bio Essence Hydra can do a whole lot for you. I've got it. Um, basically, you want you want really big bodies, uh, like Ripjaw Raptor, Thrashing Brontodon are like some good dinosaurs against Red, uh, especially Ripjaw Raptor. You want you want things that don't just trade with Wizards oh, Lightnings protect. and Lightning Strikes. So yeah, Ripjaw Raptor is a real good one. Thorn Lieutenant, strong. Yeah. <laughs> no, we can't we can't respond to stuff, Petty. They have a Teferi out. I can't just wait I'll and try to respond to adapt. Friend. We can't play instant speed stuff. Trust me, I have a plan. So I can expand I can explosion for three right now. Here goes nothing. to do better than that. You can't stop nature. We can't expansion a Clarion. Again, we can't we can't do that. It's a fairy, we can't copy stuff. That'd be nice to be able to copy the Clarion, but we just can't. Don't worry, I got this. So we're in we're in a tough spot. For sure. So four uh I'm one man away from Storm Conduit plus Coil plus Clarion. Could bounce the Krasis. Go Storm Conduit. I could just Storm Conduit double Clarion. I guess I just do that. Every problem has a solution. Let's start by taking you out of the equation. I am judge, jury, and electrocutioner. Ah! Strike me, and you s- <clears throat> Okay, so you've got claws. Ah! 
I'm a survivor. This might be a bad idea. No one knows the wilds like I do. No, chicken, I won't. Uh. Here we go. And that Teferi has so much loyalty, too. But no, I'm... I don't go to the tournaments anymore. I just stay home and stream. That's what I do each and every day. I should have scryed first. Yeah, I should have scryed first, though. We're, we're drawing a land anyway. Okay, well. I've seen squirrels hit harder. Alright, so both our planeswalkers are gonna die. Not again! We have just drawn way too many lands. I do, Stuffico. So I like to present myself, but welcome to the stream. Sorry for this. I wanted to check. Okay, so that's the only card we know at the bottom. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. So yeah, they should be just adapting the Incubation Druid, attacking to Lil Teferi for three, attacking big Ral for four. Oh, catch was really good. I could have saved the Clarion for it, but... I don't know. Too many lands. Alright, um... I need like these planeswalkers back. Help me get more gas in the tank. And what are we taking out? We play three Narsets. I mean, the Rals are awesome at pinging down like Teferis and stuff. I should probably just play more of those. What's like the card I can take out? Here. Yeah, Ritual Set kills Hydrocrasis. This is 62. How am I not playing more coils? Also. I don't know, I definitely want these Novas. I 
I guess two Narset, three Ral. So I guess I'm only adding in two Narsets here to help staying with three Ral. Laperaton, thanks for the kind words. Glad you're here. Okay. It's a pretty decent looking hand here. Don't have dubs blue yet for Narset, but that's okay. Be waiting on this opt. Basically, anything's a good draw right now. This isn't a fight you can win. I'll protect you. Please don't have it to ferry yourself. Ugh. I can no longer stand by and watch. Let's try this. Keep an open mind. <laughs> That's a bunch of lands down at the bottom now. All right, so we got three lands down there. That's more like it. Trust me, I have a plan. Hmm. Land? No, I am not making this up as I go. Okay. I have just the trick for this. I guess I should have just clarioned. Won't hide from the world any longer. Time is I should just clear around last time. Think. But oh, I got to fairy in play. Yeah, I should just I should clear around last turn. I was just kind of too focused on trying to get this to fairy in play by like bouncing. But like now, if they have like the land drop, they can grow chamber guardian and act and adapt and all that kind of stuff. I've got time. Yeah, Rao Clarion is like our, our yeah, I'm gonna be looking for Rao right now, for sure. Cause yeah, Rao Clarion. You know what? I'm not done yet. Is a good answer to Oketra. I've got it. Which Oketra is like about all I'm scared of right now. Hmm. I have to play everything sorcery speed anyway. So if they don't have the land here, then they have to draw the druid next turn. Don't worry, I got this. Which is real good for us.
We need to move quickly. That's a good one. Oh, I've done the They can bounce it, of course, with their Teferi, but. We're looking for Ral. They don't draw a card though, if they bounce. Here we go. Um. I mean, that does technically dig me one more farther. Instead of just taking the next card, we get to look at the next card and then take the one after that. Might be a bad idea. Hold that thought. Where you at, Ral? Or Sarkin? We'll take Sarkin also. <laughs> yeah, we do have the Triforce of No Fun assembled. There's Ral. I'm not ready for this quite yet. I never back down from a challenge. Let's try this. Ooh, they're circling too. What the weather's like on Ixalan. All right, so we have we have the infinite combo. Let's see if we can figure this out. Oh wait, I don't. I'm not untapping lands right now. Never mind. I'm not untapping lands. I don't have enough mana. Ugh. No, you need two expansions. We need a coil expansion expansion. What sets off the combo? Rao's um, passive ability here. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell. Beast, so we'll see if I can figure out how to, how to work it. Okay, cool. Ice, let me know how it goes. I think I'm going to I'm going to try that deck tomorrow, that Gruel Arcbo deck. That's my plan. Okay. So let's see if let's see if I can actually do it right cuz I I've never even tried this before. So we're going to Clarion to give our creatures life link. Target them. And then expansion. Copy that. No, you don't need a down tick rail. Okay, and then we expansion, copy, expansion. I mean, this is just how it should work in theory. So we'll see how it works here. 
All right. Well, then, yeah. And then we have to keep copying the first expansion, right? We can't copy, like, the second one, yeah. You have to just keep on copying that first expansion over and over again. And every time that you copy it, because it says whenever you copy a spell, it deals one. So each time you copy, good. you deal one over and over again. All right, 2-0, oh, Just Guy Storm Conduit. It seems like it seemed like it worked. We still don't know. You don't get it? Okay, so Ral says that every time you copy a spell, it triggers and you deal one damage to, to the opponent. And so we have we have the Deafening Clary on there, right? And then we have the um, the first expansion that's copying it. Okay, so like Clarion and then first expansion's copying it. And then the second expansion copies the first expansion, which all it does is make a spell that says you can copy another spell. And then with that, you copy the first expansion again, which says you can copy another spell. And so then you copy the first expansion again. And then, and you just keep on doing that over and over again, recopying that first expansion. And each time you copy a spell, Ral triggers and deals one damage to the opponent. Oh, would I not have had time for the combo? Timeout wise. Yeah, you don't want to copy a copy of expansion. You have to copy the original card each time. That's scary. Yeah, I mean, it's better than nothing. You know, this is why I got a bunch of Deafening Clarions, talking about how Deafening Clarions are good these days. But hopefully that slows the opponent down. Graveyard. We only have three in the graveyard? Dang. That's not very many. Stop auto passing. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody has to cast stuff at instant speed. Nobody wants to do it at sorcery speed. Ooh. Coil? Lava coil. That could be worse. I'll flip as Kanta. Three lands to the bottom. That was like the perfect Ascanta. Throw three lands to the bottom and give me a lava coil.
We've gone through 15 lands so far. Um, I don't have the mana to cast Rowl and Shock this turn. With them having mobilized district and everything, I, I can't take Rowl. So it's just whether I want to Shock or Clarion. I, I guess I just grab the Shock. Because the Shock lets me play Hollow Fountain in tapped here. If I had one more mana, I could like play Ral minus and double shock it and have the Ral in play as well. Who are you Looks like this is just going to be too many threats, though. <laughs> Magnificent. Okay. Don't know exactly how this is saving me. Yeah, mobilize this works really good. Oh, I look forward to seeing you running away. I really hope they don't activate district. Of course, if they activate district, we die, of course. I summon you! Which they did. All right, I was playing to hoping my play here was like hoping that they were like scared to settle or something like that, and they could just play like one thing and that could cast a big explosion. All right, we need these blasts in. Um, need the coils, the justice strike, Clarion. Do I want like Dovin's vetoes or something? Narsa can go. Hey, Kratash. Yeah, I could have tried to exp yeah, explosion for two on my turn and draw the other coil for the for the four four. I could have tra tried for that. I went how how we were behind there, and they still had a bunch of cards in hand that they weren't hitting land drops, you know. So we knew there were a bunch of spells. I went I went with the greedy line of of like hoping that they didn't go all out and attack with all three, maybe play like something else, and then I was able to draw, you know, like four cards or whatever. I I went greedy there, just just trying. God, I can't beat Cinder Vines at all. I don't think we're winning this one.
Um, I don't really see anything. Yeah, I was playing to win there. I don't really see anything to take out, honestly. Uh, I guess a Storm Conduit. My own Sarkin. I don't know, an Opt. I gotta take something out. Yeah, so it's... Seeing if our opponent played passively there, we could pull ahead. I was going for it. I need to be able to shock a Llanowar Elf. If they have a Llanowar Elf. Rewarded. So that I can curve out with these other things. Why well, I shocked in there. Yeah, Gruel, Gruel's sweet. Yeah. I like Gruel. Gruel is good against these blue-red decks. Yeah, like this, Grixis, that kind of stuff. Yeah, no, Gru Gruel's pretty cool. Gruel is cool. Alright, I'm hoping no Spellbreaker. If you show remorse, I'll show you. No, I am not making this up as I go. Ooh. If we get lucky and find the other expansion, we could have a turn five kill. We could have a turn five kill here. We just need to draw expansion. It's not expansion. Do I go for it? Do I kill this thing? I've got or do I go for turn five kill? Yeah, go for the win. See, it's fairy. Think you can beat me? You're welcome to try. It's not expansion. I need a land, though, too, don't I? Hmm. I guess I need to hit a land drop, which I didn't. We'll just deafening Clarion and clean these things up. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. For every action, there's a reaction, and you are not going to like this one. All right, I'll do the I'll do the better play here. So this makes it a lot harder for me to combo, but it does, it's just better because like we, we want like Lava Coil for spell breakers and stuff. No, minus two shock expansion doesn't work. You don't need to cop, that's just copying the shock. That's not copying expansion. You can't, you can't put like an expansion on the stack and then instant speed activate RAL, for example. I am really into current affairs. Get it? Because current, uh, electricity, never mind. So Opt is a good card. I would like to draw Opt. I guess we're just gonna kill kill things and kill them with double explosion. With Ral. I think that's where we're at right now, because we wanna flip as Cantus. So I guess I should have kept the opt, because then I was gonna coil for the seventh card. Yeah, that yeah, Sand Evolver, I'm in it. Uh graveyard transform. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that opt. Do I want to scry first? We got like the four Clarions. That's what I'm kind of looking for. Let's see if we can find a Clarion. 
Eureka! <laughs> Sorry, I, I just realized something totally unrelated. This cancer just lets us keep refilling our hand all the time, so we can just spend all these things one for one. And pretty soon I'll be doing explosion. Co like, I'll copy no explosion with Rao. Install. Pretty soon. It's like starting next turn. My experiments are mostly successful. It, yep, I'll take the land. No, Kurtash. I don't think any ranked matches today. Let's light it up. Um, doing the leagues here. Like this is a new deck I wanted to try out. What know you of dragons? There's a storm coming your way. It's one, two, three, four, five. Same with like the next deck and everything. And um, I don't, just wasn't really feeling the, the ranked today, you know. All right, so we just do 10 upstairs. Can they do 17 to me? Yeah, like they really could do 17 to me. I guess I do five here. Five there. So I'm down to nine. No. No, we have the pings. Alright, let's kill this thing. Yeah, because we have the pings. Uh, you are bold. Oh whoops. No, not you. Not not you. No, cancel. Did it just not cast the spell? Are you kidding me? You can't just undo that? What is going on? Uh, that is ridiculous. Well, the Sarkin should be dead. They should be at 8. That's what it should be right now. Oh, no. They'd be at 9. They should be at 9, and the Sarkin should be dead. But now we may die. Demands power. Wait a minute, did I? I needed that land I just discarded, didn't I? I wasn't really paying too much attention. I didn't keep a land. I need I need one more land right now. Maybe we'll draw a land and be lucky after what happened. Okay, well that'll work too. So should be able to just kill them. All right, hopefully we don't mess it up. Yep. I'm gonna go full control ro roll. Oh my gosh, and now it's starting to lag. Oh my gosh, it's lagging. Come on. Let me do this. 
Don't, don't run me out of time. to all right so I'm trying to do this quickly here using the space bar some to help me out but I don't really want to take it off full control because I haven't not done that so okay there we go Man, that was heart beating kind of quickly there. So we got pretty fortunate there with our opponent getting stuck on land. We were able to just buy a lot of time to get set up. And we had Ascanta going and everything. Um, I think I want Teferi Time Waster out. Maybe I take that card out. I'm gonna play Dovin's Vetoes actually. They just, you know, like they have a lot of Planeswalkers. I wanna play some Dovin's Vetoes. I don't know if it's safe to take full control off after you have the combo started, honestly. I don't know. These are like the first times that I've ever done this combo. Um, hadn't tried it with taking full control off. It's certainly possible it is. I, I just don't know. So I, I didn't wanna risk it there. Yeah, we'll get a restart, a client restart in here. All right, so it is safe after the second the second explosion. All right, no more lands, deck. No more lands. Hmm. If I use this third lava coil, we're really bad against rekindling Phoenix. Soto, thanks for the bits there. Really appreciate that, Soto. Saying, hey, Todd, I've been loving Bant midrange, but I'm having a lot of issues with sideboarding. Do you prefer the explore package or the adapt creatures? And what would you take out in the mirror? Would you? I've seen things that would break someone like you. Um. All right, so definitely Think you can playing Ral here. You're welcome to try. Ride the lightning. I don't know which one I prefer, honestly. I mean, that's not not a great answer, but I like both. I like explore creatures and adapt creatures. Um, I don't I don't like them together too much. I think probably adapt creatures with that deck. Balance. Comes. Adapt does like the adapt stuff does work really well with in, you know wanting to keep your mana open instant speed, um, and being able to use it still. I don't know. I could see playing Explore there too, though. I mean, there that's two good choices, basically. But anyway, for a mirror, you want to be you want to be really quickly. You want to be really quick. 
So you want... Um, let's copy this. You want to keep all your I mana, all your jury. mana acceleration and everything like that in. All right, bounce both of those. Wanted to shock this land war elf. Just pass. Dun, 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 dun. I could see Man, I do need another land. Is it the next one this turn? Uh, it is the next one this turn. No! Oh, lightning strike? I should really oh, that's a killer. Oh, wow, what a killer. Should I take out one Oketra and the Shalai's? I could see taking out... Well, so, Shalai... Like, I could see taking out Shalai, because they don't interact a bunch, but if you get to, like, a board stall, Shalai is awesome with, like, the activated ability. I would not I would not take out Oketra at all. Oketra's... No, you don't take out Oketra. That's going to be a real solid card for you. So, yeah, I wanted to keep the shock so I could kill the Phoenix, right? So I just... So on their turn, I explosion the Phoenix, and then I shock it. My Behold! That's like my goal of not not shocking the land war elf. I need another planeswalker. You can ping player or planeswalker, correct? You cannot ping creatures. So I couldn't ping the egg. But yeah, I guess if you need to cut something else, cut Shalai. I don't know exactly what you're bringing in. You may not need to sideboard that they much in the mirror. Coming. Like, your game one plan is probably just what you want to be doing. No, yeah, Ral only does players or planeswalkers. I know, I, I tried that earlier. I tried peeing like a Niv Mizzet or something with it earlier. All right, we need a legendary creature or planeswalker. Certainly need one real bad right now. How oh, that lightning strike devastating. Wild animals come to me.
No. That's a tough matchup. I think we did pretty well. We fought pretty well. There. Took it to a tough three game set there. Oh, yeah, let me do a reset. Cancel. It was getting choppy and stuff there. I couldn't cast Ruinous Blast. You can only cast Ruinous Blast if you have a legendary creature or a planeswalker in play. And, of course, I didn't have it any in play, so I couldn't cast it. Can't just cast it all the time, unfortunately. There we go. Feels a little better here. Well, I will. Well, I will. Warping whale. Warping whale. Alright, play first. Good hand. I like seeing Escanta always. Okay, we're moving two Knight of Autumns and a Shalai for two Prisons and one Deputy. Isn't Prism pretty... I guess, like, a, so they're playing, like, Little Teferi that could bounce Prism. Prison. And maybe they have Knight. I, like, I definitely like bringing in Deputy 100%. Hopefully they just use a burn spell to kill Teferi here and don't have don't and can't play the Electromancer and I can just play the Narset on an empty board. Or I find like a shock next turn to go with the Narset where I can shock Electromancer plus play Narset. Narset is critical in this matchup. Hmm. That didn't happen. Goes nothing. I have practiced against many foes like you. Well, I'll just play Narset then. I definitely want it down before they start casting all these other things. That's annoying. Well, we'll clear it up with Clarion, but Narset down. That's bad. You are a mighty warrior. I concede. Don't worry. I got this. I don't play this during their turn, right? Even though they can get Phoenix back? Maybe I do? Yeah, I guess maybe I do, because they can get Phoenix back. But now they just get a turn of Electromancer shenanigans. Right, sounds good. I kind of wish I did not get rid of this other Clarion right about now. You ready to throw down the gun? I am. Guild Mage, Planeswalker, Genius Inventor. I got it all. I've got time. All right, so we have one Ral to protect Planeswalkers against instant speed Phoenixes. 
This is the card we really need with that Narset. Looks like our opponent may be kind of stuck on red mana stuff. Well, maybe not. Need to find another Narset. But I don't think I just pass up on Teferi. <laughs> Rao thing. Rao's just Tony Stark. Alright, here comes a couple birdies. So where are they attacking? The Billionaire Perun. Alright, now just digging for Narset. I hurry. I'll protect you. All right, so little Teferi can die. Oh well. I feel like it's gonna be hard for them to cast this Phoenix and cast enough spells to get this Phoenix out of the yard. But now we'll be able to flip Ascanta and dig for Narset. Okay, well, they just had another thing to ditch it. That's a bummer. Their third tormenting voice. Obviously, charter courses would have worked well too. Obviously. Oh, looks like I'm too slow on the Narset. Maybe I'll find Lava Coil. Oh, I didn't tick up to Fairy. Lava Coil won't work. Because I minused. I think they're no time are they dead? Break. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we we could do sixteen to them. I don't know because the route won't be around anymore. Not sixteen. I 
could just distill lightning into a potion, that'd never sell. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do seven, or maybe just five. Let's just do five. To that thing and draw and then I'll have two mana up like where I can okay so I have a blink and say so I'd have two mana up for like an instant speed lava coil or shock uh, but you know want to be able to like lava coil the Phoenix Right, no, that's that's what I was counting with with if we would have done Teferi on tapping the two lands, we would have been able to do seven instead of five. Um and seven twice, you know, we could have copied it, so we could have done seven twice. So I could have done fourteen to them. But that wouldn't have killed them. This next turn it's lethal though. Now next turn it can be 18. Or it's 8 twice, so it'll be 16. Sorry. So yeah, this next turn, as long as we can still minus 2 this Rao, as long as the Rao's out there. Which it looks like it will be. Um, We got 33 cards, they have 32 cards. Well, lots of cards. Fury of the Tempest. We need to move quickly. This might okay. be a bad idea. So for eight. Upstairs. Everything upstairs. All right, well, I, I wasn't sure we we're going to be winning that game, honestly. Earlier, like one, whenever the Narset died, I did not really feel too good about that game. But we just kind of found enough shocks. We did find some a couple shocks like right at the right time. Let's see if we can blast away Phoenixes and exile them. That'd be nice. Get these other lava coils in to exile stuff. Uh, Dovin's Veto seem kind of cool. I like those. Clarion, maybe. Maybe they go try to go wide. I think that's. That's probably like their bit, right? Like they try to go wide with like Sahelis and stuff. Um, take this thing out. Hmm. I mean, I see. <laughs> I can see playing all sixty-eight of these cards. What what cards do y'all think I should be taking out? Oh, I need this other Narset in here. That's got to come in. All right, well, that's 69. I could get rid of... No, I can't. Maybe I just don't play Veto. Could, could, could get rid of Blink uh, with these other coils. Don't guess I don't need four Clarions. We'll go three, especially with these Blasts. Um, could cut an expansion, and then I guess I, I guess I just don't play Veto. And... Now, what, are the, what about the last two? A Storm Conduit? A Little Teferi? A little Teferi seems kind of busted. Do I take out two Big Teferi? All 
Alright, two Clarion, three Little Teferi. Ral's copy with Banefire. That's pretty sweet. That's always good. Uh, yep. This'll do. This deck's been playing pretty well, though. Been pretty impressed with this deck. How it's been playing and everything. I didn't have, like, the biggest expectations or anything. Yeah, Banefire could be, like, a, an alternate win con, yeah. Yeah, the only way this hand could get better if, is if we would have had um, a red shock land so I could kill an Electromancer on turn two and not have to... Or, sorry, on turn one and not have to do it on turn two. But no Electromancer, so no worries. We'll just get this as Kanta in play. Getting rid of the black source with the Drowned Catacomb. So they must have multiple black sources then. Or they don't. Yeah, like they probably have like a Blood Crypt also. Teamer Frenzy featuring Ral? Or do, or do you mean Teamer Reclamation with Ral? I don't think you'll see me playing that one too often. Library. That kills a phoenix for good. Give it to me. This isn't a fight you can win. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Oh, what a braggart. Oh, let me tell you about this hero thing that I've done before. Back in 77. Stop that. Now. Card's kind of great. That's more like it. How does Narset's reversal work with Ral? Can it also combo? I don't think so. I don't think it does. Guess I don't. Um. Yeah, I don't. Trust I don't me. think it does. I have a plan. Which I guess I could have coiled on their turn. I don't know if there's any reason to wait on Coil, but I could do that on their turn because of this Teferi. So now I'll just have Ruinous Blast on their turn. I guess I could Ral minus two double shock the Drake. Then the Ral dies to a shock. I kind of want them to play a Phoenix. I would love for them to play a Phoenix. Please play Phoenix. Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix. Tilt. Ah, uh, the Gruel Frenzy deck, Splashing Blue. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that one with, like, the fight, kick fight with fire. Copy that. Yeah, we've done infinite Ral Ping combo a couple of times. I think, I guess we've done it twice. I think. Yeah. Mono Green... Final Zakama deck. It's like the the green finale, and you're just trying to put in. Um, you're trying to put in Zakama. Ramp up hard. 
Yeah, I could make that deck. But it's like, if you're mono green, what are you doing with Zakama's abilities? You don't get like the red and white ability, right? No, I am not making this up as I go. Every problem has a solution. Let's start by taking you. I'm really into current affairs. Get it? Because current electricity? Nope, don't get it. Uh, question is, is there any way to stop somebody from Nexus fading into Affinity if they don't they don't have any win cons left in their deck? Not on Arena. That's not right now. They're they're getting uh, Arena clocks, or like there's going to be time clocks in Arena for best of three um, after the next update in a week, but not right now. There's nothing to do about it. So it's just it's just like a a will willpower. You basically do you want to leave and and go play a different match, or do you want to sit there and wait and wait for them to to concede? Basically, one of you just has to concede. So, yeah, it's it's real unfortunate, but nothing to do. All right, looking for a shock for to protect the Teferi. Hey, look at that, we found a shock. Yeah, I'm bringing like both these Phoenixes back though. But we get to flip Ascanta. Try this. Ride the lightning. I have the coil to protect a fairy. I definitely wanted to find Narset here. I w like, that's why I was activating Ascanta to look for Narset and play that so they don't get to just draw more cards. Narset would have been really nice. But yeah, we got Instant Speed Lava Coil. Take out one of these birdies. We've exiled one bird so far. And a big bird. <laughs> big bird's kind of yellow here. Narset would have been great. Hey, once again. Come on. Come on. We're talking about, like, why did we lose with Five Color Reborn? We lost to a, a couple control decks. I, I didn't play Five Color Reborn very well today. Admittedly. Ow. 
good aim. Um. But we talked about afterwards some good changes to make to the deck. Um, and yeah, I think I think those would the changes that we talked about afterwards would help. Ooh. I guess I can't find Narset and have Lava Coil. To the bummer. Ooh, there's Narset. I really want a lava coil. Eh, heck, I can probably just take this explosion. Let's be real. Eureka! <laughs> Sorry, I, I just realized something totally unrelated. That card's busted. Here we go. What's up, boot? The Drake. So I could let Ral die and blast next turn. Instead of Lava Coil against the speed, I could just, like, blast next turn and get rid of both of these and still keep the Lava Coil up. So if they have a Shock, they'd be able to, like, attack Ral for three, and then if they have the, have the Shock, they finish off Ral. We have a backup Ral, so... Zelda Kingdom Hearts th 3. Oh, wait, do you have... Oh, yeah, yeah, because you're back home. Yeah, yeah, Kingdom Hearts th Kingdom Hearts 3 isn't on Switch, is it? Well, that didn't pan out. So that named Ral? Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Nope, that's sad. On the last divine beast? Ooh. <laughs> Love it. Pre combat. Gotta draw that card. This is so not fair, just being able to instant speed your spells, plus not even worry about counter magic. Just have everything uncounterable and instant speed. <laughs> All your spells are instant speed and, unco and uncounterable. That's crazy. Crazy. This should be a concession. I think. Oh, that's... That's unfortunate. We're not going to exile that one. Okay. So, five, ten... 11, 12. I've got time. It's easy. Quantum particles blah, put them down blah, to two. And you die. Wait, right? Five? Yeah.
That's four, five, six. Gotta do another one. So, so far, we've exiled uh, three Arclight Phoenixes, three Crackling Drakes, a Spyglass, and an Electromancer. I'm not exactly sure what they'll have left. You're up for round two. We'll find out. I guess if they kill this Rao with like a Lightning Strike or whatever. And then they have two counter spells for both my shocks. Out of their two cards, they have to kill Rao plus have double counter magic. Not sure how that's going to happen, but if, if they have all that in their two cards, then maybe they can stabilize even through my... But then I have the Ascanta going. All right, they did not kill Rao. All right, let's kill our opponent with an opt. All right, three and one. Good win against Phoenix there. Urza's Ruinous Blast was ridiculous. Opt you. <laughs> I did, Yud. <laughs> hey, what's up, Eisen F? A royal with cheese. It's a nice looking hand. <laughs> Opt two OP, please nerf. I know, right? Ops are just killing people these days. It's one mana, you get to scry and draw a card and kill somebody. Like your opponent just dies? That's too strong. I'll play another one. Ugh. Um Let's go as Kanta. Please don't play the 5 4. Please don't play a 5 4. Just play a 2 3. Or, or a 3 2. No, not a 5 4. Gross. That thing's so big. Any lands? What am I doing? I'm known for my excellent. Need to do this first. Trust me. I guess I'm bouncing I this thing now. I was looking for a land. Didn't find it. Don't play more five fours. I need more lands. Because if we would have hit the land there, we would have we gotten, you know, if we would have had four mana here. Then next turn, if we find a land off Ascanta, then we can Clarion copy. All right, that was the plan. I knew I had a plan. I can't remember what the plan was. That was the plan. This is hardly my worst. Defeat. So, land? Okay. So, that's a start. I think we are going to have to Clarion copy, right? I mean, if I clear on right now, they still have a 5-4. And then they play some other threat, and then I'm kind of dead, because then I go to 5. If I go to Fairy, Time Waster, and bounce the 5-4, then they play it, replay it, and I take 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hmm, that's lethal. 
So that doesn't sound great. Oh, I really needed a land last turn. All right, hopefully they don't have any other threats. Hey, Gaspy's back. What's up, Gaspy? Ruinist Blast. We do need to survive with a Planeswalker on the battlefield for that Ruinous Blast, which could be tough. Get some Novas in here, another Clarion. Oh, yeah, we need to strike down some Justice. I don't know what you're going to do, but probably something cool. All right, so we got all this stuff. Narsets can go. Casting Blast could be pretty tough. I only have 11 cards to trigger it. Maybe I actually don't want Blast. Maybe we'll just rely on Cleansing Nova. Something a little bit more reliable. Like with taking Narsets out also here. Hey, Wee Doc. Uh, What else are we taking out? I guess I have to cut Expansion Explosions. But I kind of need an expansion Clarion sometimes. But if I'm bringing in Coils and Justice Strikes... Yeah, maybe I cut a Rowl and an expansion. I guess Time Waster is not so great. As we saw that game. Maybe I'd rather have Rowl here than Time Waster. Because, yeah, the whole, like, all it is is just, like, the three mana bounce something, draw a card. Because, like, the whole rest of the part doesn't, card doesn't really matter too much. Maybe I just take those out then. Hmm. I'll still play a couple. You're drawing endless mana over there, Joey. Better than me. I tried the Naya Feather list. Had an amazing success with it. At the exception that I played Lil Vivian. Okay, you play Lil Viv over Domri? I'm guessing. Does Lil Viv matter that much when you have a bunch of haste stuff, though? It's a really amazing list. Aw, oh, thanks. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with that deck too yesterday. I, yeah, I really liked really liked it. Wanna try it again today. You can see it's up there. Maybe I should play that next and then Demir control fourth. This is like a slow blue control deck and then playing another slow blue control deck. Much more back to back. Humans. Starting over yeah, maybe we should go Naya Feather next. Elder Spell is very good right now. It's in a great position. Everybody's playing Planeswalkers. So I wanted to save this for the 5-4, considering it's like our only card. They don't want to just use it on the Land War Elf, but then they get this Vivian, and that's annoying. Ah, the Vigilance is helping you with that. Yeah, let's not play two blue slow blue control decks back to back. Strike now. Let's Strike not do that. Hard. We're gonna be taken out by Mono Green here. It looks like. Steel Leaf and Null Hide. These cards are real big. Good against my my red removal spells. Oh, 
whoops. All things begin and end in nature. All right, so a three and two. Didn't get to play Magic this game too, but this doesn't look like the best of matchups for us. We are better against Vine Mare than a lot of people, though, with our all of our Deafening Clarions. Speaking of. I mean, I guess maybe we're not three and two yet. They're not playing more lands. <clears throat> which kind of signifies they have a bunch of creatures in hand still. And if they have five spells and I have zero spells, it's not likely we win. Have you ever lost a home? So at the moment, I've tried Mardu, Naya, and Abzan Angels. I'm having huge success with these Angels decks. Like Feather are really underrated. I think. Wait, yeah, they, the Angels think decks are just solid. There's kind? a lot of aggro in the metagame that they're real good against. So I, I'm one mana short of of activating Uskanta and casting Cleansing Nova next turn. So we need to just find Cleansing Nova right here. Cleansing Nova. Oh, right. We, we wouldn't even be able to flip Ascans anyway. We're forever away from that. Nope. No Nova. All right. Three and two. The deck played pretty well, though, honestly. Admittedly, we are weak against very large creatures. Like That's just something that we're pretty weak against, like the mono green deck. So both of our losses were basically to like those those big green creature decks, uh, green-red aggro, um, with a bunch of dragons and stuff like that, and then mono green. Um, that that makes sense. I think those are I think those decks are where we're gonna struggle. Um, my removal with like Clarion and everything doesn't match up against the big stuff. Um, that's okay. Those those kind of decks. I mean, it's a little unfortunate that we played against two of those in five matches because they're, they're not that highly played or anything right now. Um, but yeah, this deck worked out really well. To f so, one thing with like the Ral combo is like not not letting your opponent cast anything at instant speed is nice. So you know, if you have Lil Teferi out, then they can't counter or disrupt you at all, and you can just set up your Ral combo. But a lot of times we were winning on like the minus two and just get explosion. Like that's that's like the main win way to win is um, just minus two this and then explosion really big and and kind of fireball them down from twenty. Um, but we did we did got we did get to combo a couple of times and that was really nice whenever we did combo um, with the the infi combo and thankfully our opponents didn't really make us click all the way through it full times. But yeah, this deck played pretty nice. I'm sure the sideboard could use some work. Uh, Ruinous Blast was awesome against the Phoenix deck, but overall, probably Cleansing Nova is the way to go. Maybe we just need more Cleansing Novas in here. Um, obviously, Settle the Wreckage is and Solar Blaze are like other sweepers you can play. Uh, I don't love Settle the Wreckage these days because most of those bigger green creature decks that we're going to struggle against are all playing Gruul Spellbreaker, and that's why I don't love Settle. But Settle is good against Sarkin, the Masterless. We never actually did anything with the Sarkin. And the deck performed pretty well without it. So yeah, another another good another good uh, different version of uh, GG's there, cheese. Um, another good version of Jeskai Control. Like I said, kind of before this, we've seen like the versions with like a lot of Planeswalkers and then a whole bunch of Sarkins recently. And so we're trying to see how Storm Conduit does. And pretty good, pretty good. Um, but yeah, like the the big creature decks, that's a struggle. That's okay. But could probably change up the sideboard some to to help out with that, like I was saying. 
anyway, there we go. Uh, that's Jeskai Storm Conduit. If you're watching this video later on YouTube, th one, thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope you hit the like and subscribe buttons over there.